About 45 seconds to go to the start of the final race of the, of the 49er Pikes Junior World Championship. I'm going to go to the scoreboard here. Those of you at home interested, just freeze and maybe copy it down. I can't go through it in time. We've got uh, a pretty good fight for the silver medal here between the Gerriga sisters, Germany 810, and Beckering and Blom. Beckering and Blom, Netherlands 110, are on uh, 56 points, and the Gerriga sisters are on 58 points. So two points in it. You can see Beckering is setting up for a port tack start at the pin end there. And uh, the Gerriga sisters are going for a regular start. That's go. Beckering's having to dig deep. Good start from the Estonians. The Estonians are in a good fight for sixth, which uh, one which they're leading in right now. Oh, Agar up Sisters Tech right on top of. Pain. Just gonna have to excuse the commentary during this race. Oh, Agar up Sisters having a foul because uh, I'm actually driving the boat as well. We've got our drone operator. It'll try and keep uh, keep you posted on what's actually happening. So we've got Beckering and Blom. They actually have got into some decent wind. And they're going out to the right. Meanwhile, Gerga sisters are on the far left, just falling into Nielsen and Olsen's wake. The reason we're not talking about them very much anymore is because they've already won the regatta. They got it wrapped up. Nielsen and Olsen tack. Wiedemeyer sisters just ducking Gerga. And the Estonians that sap. Goes for the tack there, recovers a little bit. The pressure's on, so they've got their double trapping out in the far left, and they are just single trapping on the far right. So uh, look at the backring on Blom are on a big header as well. So if, it'd be interesting if they tack. It looks like they're in good pressure. Payne Orton just struggling a little bit to handle the puffs. There goes Beckering for the tack. See if she can cra cross the rest of the fleet here. Looks to me like she's linked together the two best uh, puffs already today. Kiwis should have probably should have just tacked underneath there when that uh, header hit for them and flipped back over, stayed in sync, but they haven't. They've continued to the outside. Meanwhile, here everyone else is getting that same header, and uh, Beckering and Blom are out in front. So if it stands as it now, Beckering and Blom will have wrapped up that silver medal. Um, Kiwis. Done fine. They've uh, they've dug into that puff a little bit, so they've, they've handled their situation just fine. Right side is paid heavily. We can see even uh, a couple of the teams that had worse starts are doing just fine. Here we go uh, with the leaders, Beckering and Blom. They're sailing really nice here. Probably go for a jibe set. Yeah, there they go. Beautiful jibe set. We saw them have struggle in the second race with a knot in their retrieval line, but uh, no such problems here. The girls are actually ripping. It's a good breeze. There goes the, uh, Dawson round in second. Cantero in third. Let's see if she goes for jibes at two. Yeah, she does. Pressure's on on these hoists. Oh, Cantero shrimps the kite. The Brits, uh, Brits have to go really low to try and get around. Cantero's stuck. Cantero's stuck as she tries to get round. She made a huge log jam as everyone's trying to get round. And Cantero, none of them can get inside. Gautham rolls. Payne and Orton now as they rip down wind. Oh, nightmare for the Brits as they struggle here. They're going to capsize. They pull it off. Wow, that's some blustery conditions. So Payne and Orton, it wasn't their error that started it, but they weren't able to, to capitalize, and now they've had the entire fleet roll them. So we look downwind. The, the leaders are already around the lured mark here. Really short course, especially given how much the wind has come in. It's uh, you know it's full on it's full on ragging conditions here as the jury struggles to keep up. Indians have gone from probably dead last on the start line all the way to fourth. Let's see if they can get round. Oh, big big mix up at the leeward mark as Wiedemeyer sisters rock up on the mark. Gerga sisters are outside them. There's definitely some shouting and screaming going on. Payne and Orton are going to get inside and uh, recover some of the positions they've already lost. Wiedemeyer sisters don't have their spinnaker down yet. Gerga sisters, let's see if they go for a 360 or not. Wiedemeyer sisters going for a 360, so they obviously feel that it was them or... I didn't see a judge there, but someone's done a 360. 
Meanwhile, back at the front, it's a lot more calm for our leaders. Beckering and Blom are going to secure the silver medal. What, let's just do a little math here and see if Dawson from New Zealand is going to be able to make a pass here. On She's on 96 points. We've got the Estonians to our far right on 98. So it looks to me like Dawson's going to move herself up to, what's that, sixth overall, with the Estonians falling to seventh. Jibe set again from our leaders. Dawson's in a pretty solid second here. One jibe set away. And through all that mess, uh, Nielsen and Olsen have survived and uh, used their boat handling and solid sailing to get through uh, back into second place. Nice tack from them. Clean water. See if everyone goes for the jibe set this time or if people play it safe. Nice late jibe set uh, from Nielsen and Olsen as they knew the Agarup sisters were there, so they could circle wide and make sure there's room. Oh, struggling again. See, Cantero hasn't done the wide set. She's put her crew in an awful position here. Jibe too early. Let's see what happens if Sep can. Oh, crew gets it up this time. Gotham Indian team has gone around the inside. There's shouts for protest. But. Gotham's got through. I don't think there was contact. We'll see what the jury has to say about it. So Cantero is the loser out of that one. Loses two spots on the jibe set. Becking and Blom have finished now. Kiwis are through as well. That leaves... Uh, or sorry, uh, Nielsen and Olsen through in third. They've already wrapped up the championship. And uh, Kiwis have wrapped up third. I'll just run through the list. So I'm pretty sure math-wise that leaves uh, the Gerga sisters in third. With uh, Let's see if I can figure out who's going to be in fourth. Wiedemeyer and Agarup are only three points apart. Agarup is here, Norway. And the Wiedemeyer sisters are just passing our bow here. So Wiedemeyer is going to wrap up fourth. Sorry, Agarup is going to wrap up fourth, moving from fifth to fourth on the day. And Wiedemeyer down into fifth. Whew, that was a lot of action. I don't think the I don't think any of us expected the wind to come in so strongly. We've been sitting around waiting for wind all day, but that's that. So uh, that's the 49er FX Junior World Championship wrapped up. Oh, let's just check the math on the Gerga sisters here. Tenth does anything. No, they're fine. So they've got the bronze medal. Good for them. A long week and uh, finishes on it with a, with a bang, with a bit of intensity. We're signing out. It'll be the 49er race up next.